need help. We need to make a decision literally in the next couple of minutes. A marathon or a 5k, you know that's how far you're going to run and then you can stop. With this format, these guys don't know how far they're going to run. You must complete the loop within the hour and we will encourage you all to do another loop. You cannot receive any assistance once the lap starts. If you do, it's a disqualification DNF. Four, three, they have to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> a lot crazy. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe it. This is happening. Yep, yep, couple of slower laps to start. My name is Johan Buerta and I'm aiming for 35 laps to get into the Australian Backyard Masters. What I like about it is that the quick run is kind of run away from you. I've done quite a few point-to-point -point events and the quick guys, you see them at the start and that's about it. This is it! Johan wants it! No, he's taking it! There's I'm an ex-professional cricket player. I played for quite a few teams around the world, played for South Africa. Ah! So there it is, Johan Buerta in his last over has struck. He's Living in Port Elizabeth where all the Ironman people train, I watch amateurs train three times a day and I thought, gee, as a professional cricketer, I'm going to one cricket session a day and that's it. And I thought, no, that's not good enough. I started running and then it's just become more and more. I did 20 hours, 20 laps last year. I gave up the first time, it felt a little bit hard and I don't want that again. Hey, yeah, this was beautiful. My name is Tomasz Lunins. I want to keep going as, as long as I can. Uh, anything between 24 and 30 loops would make me very happy. So lap one done, feel awesome. I love the course. How much time do we have? I am a very comfortable middle-aged man. <laughs> so trying to overcome that is definitely a challenge. I find every and any excuse for not doing a workout. When I turned 40 was the first time that I started running. As a stay-at-home dad, I needed some time away from the children. <laughs> and since then, I haven't stopped. Go champions. <laughs> King of the Kong. Tomas, did you come here with the expectation to be the last one standing? Um, uh, yes, of course, of course. Um, uh, um, yes, uh, I think so. I like dreaming. Dreaming is good, right? <laughs> and this is fun. So far, so good. My name is Holly, and this is my first Backyard Ultra. I don't have a target number of laps. I'm just going to go until I can't go anymore. 12 months ago, I didn't even know what a Backyard Ultra was, but I just love any endurance challenge. I've always wanted to be a professional athlete. I just haven't been able to settle on what sport. I did start off as a triathlete, but I didn't stay in it for very long. Now at my age, I think ultra running is probably the last frontier. I want to see where it can take me. This has got a bit of everything really. Downhill, uphill, road, trail, a nice steep little staircase. not getting easier.
I had a father and PE teachers all my life who never really made me believe that I could do anything athletic. I was running in Dubai when I first realized that I can run for three hours in the 42 degrees in the desert and uh, still enjoy it. And then I can get up the following day and do it again. Just made me realize that maybe I am capable of more than what I thought. There's no one here this time. I think a year of learning has been great for me. You run with some of the top runners and you see every box is ticked. My watch is 13 seconds ahead of the event clock. I thought, well, oh, it's time to go, let's go. You must be in the starting corral when the lap starts. Almost let myself down there. Just got to stay in the moment, not get too far ahead. You get that energy and you get that boost every single time you come back. Oh, sit down, shut up, mate. I enjoy being with other people much more than competing with them. I to him. Eat. I don't want to eat that. You need to eat some shit food. You need to eat. <laughs> oh. Otherwise you're going to die in the next couple of laps. That's the plan, mate. No, it's not. That's the plan. <laughs> no, it's not. We talked about this. Uh, yeah. Oh. Here, look, Man, one yeah. asparagus. Wow. Do you want chips or lollies or anything? No. No? Some chips? Just celery? Water, or coke oh, or something. Oh, great job, Jason! I always know that I will love it. The minute I leave the house and I do that workout, I do that run. So the fact that I'm here now, I'm really, really happy with that. <laughs> it's always a race for me. It is getting a bit lonely out here though. I've always got my self-worth from achieving. Well, I've maintained the same pace. Everybody else has got slower. I like the feeling of there being no one in front of me. I suppose it gives you more to play for, doesn't it? Instead of coming fourth or fifth or tenth, all there is is first or nothing. I want to make myself okay with taking things easy because the race is so long and you don't want to burn yourself out. Yeah. One of the unique things is having the support crew there. The setup that she's got there is absolutely amazing. He went and bought the Milwaukee blower vac just to sort her shoes out. We watched a fair few YouTube videos and tried to figure out what's going to work for us. Thank you. Definitely longer the better for me, or oh, I hope so. <laughs> but that 6.7 does become a stretch at some point. You've got to rock up every lap. Oh. Why are you still doing it? Because I could. I got in in uh, 52 minutes. Yeah, so well. I don't have an excuse. I enjoy making people feel good about themselves and, and that sort of makes me more energised and more silly. And those salad ones, even if you eat half of it, it needs to get some food in, mate. 
Remember last year? No, no, I don't need to eat, I don't need to eat. Then what happens? Yeah. I am a descendant of Holocaust survivors who, who went through the worst things oh. imaginable and they never really gained back that love of life. In a way, I think I'm trying to bring that joy back. Looking at the world with that slightly pinkish haze. <laughs> I never want to be not performing because my fitness isn't there. There's so many players that's just comfortable. Their skill discovers enough. They don't have to do extra. I've always felt I want to lift my game as much as I can. Gonna be tight, dude. Lost my boy, Michelle. I've lost my boy. Now I realize that this is exactly what I love doing sharing and talking to each other while we are running at the same pace. I'm more confident. I feel better about myself. I feel healthier. It changed my perspective on everything. We came here to do this. Can't be to do it. It's easy to do it. Exactly. I only came to Australia four years ago, and well, last week I was a run director on my local park run. I love that park. I need that park. The running community here is just amazing. A couple of laps I felt really good when you get going with the front runners and you just stick to them for a bit longer. It just helps you get moving that initial bit. I will have the rest of the weekend to spend with some amazing human beings and that's good enough for me. I had an amazing time. I absolutely loved it. Three, two, one. Woo! You don't know how mentally tough you need to be because your body will only do what your brain tells it to do. Here comes the rain. This is going to another challenge. What was the night like? Long and dark. Lonely. Everyone was really spaced out. Everything's going to plan. But um, I don't know how you can plan for a, a downpour, so we'll see. Alright, well done team. We made it through the night. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Just an idea I had and just messaged their friends secretly. Molly. Not done yet. <laughs> if it gets an extra lap out of her or keeps her in a better mood, then it's a win. Everyone was pretty pleased to see Daybreak. It's a bit of a milestone to get going again and just lifts everyone's morale. Although there seems to be a bit of weather on the way, so we'll see what happens. What's a painful experience in your life that you draw strength or confidence from? Having bowling action issues throughout my career and having to fix that. It's a lonely road, you're away from the team. I think that's the thing that tests you and builds your character and how much you actually want to play and want to be on the big stage. I might not have been the best in the world in my skill or whatever, but I think I got the most out of it. Okay.
Your mind always wants to give up before your body does and you just need to push past that. So many messages from all your friends. Yeah, that's so nice. It makes me feel like I can't give up. The others, me. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. I think that's probably one of the keys to winning a backyard ultra is for everyone else to think that you're doing great when you're not really. Yeah, fine, yeah, it's fine. Oh Before I was a dietitian, I was a personal trainer. I've always worked in gyms. I want to be able to share the enjoyment that I get out of exercise. And I see a lot of people in my practice who have every excuse under the sun not to exercise. And I just want to scream at them, you don't know what you're missing out on. Just try it. I swear you'll enjoy it. Oh. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh, yeah. and I don't think the, the next bit coming has actually gone around. Three, two, one. Woo! I think you always go through down periods in a long race and you want to quit. But generally, if you can push through it, you do tend to come out the other side and feel better. It's just a matter of remembering that that better period will come. I had a lot less pain in that lap and was able to run faster and because the other people were running slower. <laughs> it was nice. So feeling a lot more positive. If the weather comes in like it did before, it's going to be the determining factor. There wouldn't be a winner. There'd be some very disappointed people. I need help. We need to make a decision literally in the next couple of minutes. I was racing at 35 laps for the backyard masters. There's a lot on the line, potentially a South Australian women's record. It's just not worth it, so... Um, to do your race. You can't send people out with lightning striking nearby. Yeah, so the last five, it does mean that there is no winner. You would all be a DNF. There's nothing you can do about it really. It becomes dangerous. I'd rather stop than someone get hit. That wouldn't be good at all. Just turning it around and saying, if you stop now, it doesn't make you a worthless person. I know they'll be proud of me no matter what I do in the race. As long as I get out there and give it everything I've got, 